Hello and welcome to this Dots Ross Maths key skill video on solving simultaneous equations where one unknown has equal coefficients with different signs. And what I mean by that is in our simultaneous equations here, which I'll remind you of in a second what that means, we can see the number in front of the y in this case, they're the same number two, but one's positive, one is negative. And remember that simultaneous equations is when we have more than one equation with more than one variable. So in this case, we've got two equations with two variables, x and y. And we want to find out the value of x and y, which satisfies, which works with both of these equations at the same time, simultaneously. Now, in the previous video, we saw that we could subtract the two equations to make either the x or the y disappear. But this time, because these signs are different, if we were to subtract these two equations, I'm just going to number them 1 and 2. If we were to subtract them, then when we do the 2y minus the negative 2y, well, 2y minus minus 2y, that would be 4y. But we want this y term here to disappear, to cancel. So if the signs are different this time, we're going to add them. And the reason we're adding them is because when we add 2y and negative 2y, 2 plus minus 2 is just 0, they're going to cancel. So let's add these two equations like we did in the previous video, but adding rather than subtracting this time. This plus this, 3x plus 5x is 8x. 2y plus negative 2y, 2 plus minus 2 is 0, so that just cancels. And then 11 plus 29 is 40. A common mistake is that students just forget whether they're adding or subtracting these equations, which is why I find it helpful to write out what we're doing here. Now, if 8x is equal to 40, that's great. We've got a single equation involving just one variable. To get rid of that 8, because x has been multiplied by 8, we divide both sides by 8. And that gives us x is equal to 40 divided by 8, which equals to 5. And then to remember, the last step was to substitute that value we have into one of these equations. So if we just substitute into equation 1, it doesn't really matter which one. We've got 3 times x, 3 times 5, that's 15 plus the 2y is equal to 11. And we want to get y on its own now to solve for y. So y has been multiplied by 2, then we're adding 15. We want to undo that last thing we did, so we want to minus 15 from both sides, subtract 15. That gets rid of this 15, leaving just 2y. 11 minus 15 is minus 4. And then we can divide both sides by 2 to get rid of that 2 in front of the y. And that gives you y equals, well, minus 4 divided by 2 is negative 2, because a negative divided by a positive is negative. And then we've got our two values. We've got x is 5 and y is minus 2. And if we substitute, say, into the second equation, it should work for the second equation as well. So 5 times x, 5 times 5 is 25. And then we're subtracting 2 times negative 2. Well, we're subtracting minus 4, which is the same as adding 4. 25 plus 4 is 29. It does indeed work with both equations.